Yeah, Good, afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you doing? I'm fine. How are you? Well, doing great. Um, the weather here is amazing. So I'm You're sorry, that's why I'm wearing jacket. <laughs> <laughs> that's so, um, just introduce yourself for people that don't know or uh, like everybody. Okay, so um basically my name is Emmanuel Akaiso and you know, I just like to stay within that confines. I just like to say my name is Emmanuel Akaiso. And let me stay there because, like, I can do so many things. I can do so many things. So I like to call myself a multi-potentialite. Um, yeah, today we're we'll we'll talking work. about um, purpose, finding purpose and stuff like that. Because uh, going into the new year, uh, a lot of people are going to try to, like, discover new things for themselves. And you know the way 2020 was now. And um, things are just happening. And everybody just trying to, like, get their bearing and stuff like that. So going into the new year, uh, people. So we just want people to know how to like discover their purpose, work with their purpose, and um, yeah, just do stuff and um, just be successful with the year and stuff like that. That's how we're going to talk about finding your purpose and how to like get there and stuff like that. Yes. Yeah. Um, what do you think in your definition? Because I know you're a life coach and stuff like that. People would have been coming to you to ask like, okay, how can I fulfill destiny? How can I fulfill my purpose? How will I work in my purpose? Am I doing it right and stuff like that? So, like, to you, what do you feel like um, purpose means? Okay. So, um, okay. So, I, I just want to chip this in first. The funny thing is, um, I published a book this year about purpose. Oh. I don't know if you can see. You can know just you can send, see. like, the e-book to me so I can just paste it there. Yeah. I'll send you the e-book. And um, I think, like, this, this is, like, my largest... Um, like my book with the largest download in 2020 about the book is it's simple and the book is just eight pages and that's why like a lot of people really loved it like okay you simplified what purpose is so i'm just going to take a line from the book and you know um, explain what purpose is about now um first off people need you this life people need you i mean the world needs you the world needs something that is inside of you and that is the gift of God inside of you that you do your absolute best with little or no amount of effort, right? So your purpose is your identity. Like, what is the purpose of cooking rice? The purpose of cooking rice is because you want to eat or because you want to use the rice water to grow your hair. You know, so it is rice, but like rice has different uses, you know, for that rice. So purpose is like your identity. Purpose is that thing that God has for you individually the, the thing is that a lot of people think purpose is one big gym gym thing like okay is um you just knock the dog bang 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 bang, bang the door will open you find your purpose but your purpose is actually inside of you like it's not it's not somewhere far god is not god is not wicked god will not put your purpose in scotland meanwhile you are in amsterdam god will, god will not put your purpose in japan Meanwhile, you are in, you are in um, America. Like, God is not that kind of person. Mm -hmm. So your purpose is something you do best with, your, you know, with little or no amount of effort. So how you make that, you know, become more prominent. How you use everything that God has placed inside of you. And the funny truth is, the funny truth is, a lot of people are faced with those kind of difficulties. So I just want to stop there. And you know, go for your next question. <laughs> yes, all right, very cute. Um, so, do you think that uh, what's the name? Um, you have found your purpose, like you, uh, Emmanuel. You are working in your purpose. You have found it and stuff like that. Yeah, of course, of course. And the thing I would say is this, and eh, guys, see, for people that watch this, for every level in your life, there's a purpose that you have. For yeah, every I want to ask, in fact, of the question I wanted to ask, wanted to ask yeah. you that, do you think your purpose change according to the level? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, do you think that everybody is going to connect with your purpose? Uh, let's, uh, you say you're a musician, and you feel like your own purpose in this world is to, for you to sing. And I don't feel like, it's, I, I, don't, I don't feel like you, you know how to sing. And I will be doubting your purpose, like, okay, are you sure this is for you? And stuff like that. So, do you think that everybody is supposed to connect with your purpose because it's God that has given you your purpose like that? Okay, so the first thing first, it is your <laughs> it is your purpose, right? It is not our purpose. You know, our you know, people like people need inspiration from other people and stuff like that. So when you're not getting all those applause or people are not like praising you and stuff like that, you just feel like are you actually doing the right thing? So I'm saying that you feel like people are supposed to connect with your purpose. Everybody's supposed to like, oh yeah, you're doing well, you're working your purpose. People are supposed to see it, you understand? Okay. 
So the first thing is this. You personally, you have to connect with your own purpose first. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing. Everybody, you as an individual, you're supposed to connect with your own purpose first. You're supposed to connect with it. See, if you don't connect with your purpose, not everybody will connect with you. You have to be connected with your purpose and understand it and know what God wants you to do part-time or know what you are led to do. That Know what you are led to do part-time. You have to first connect. It is when you connect with your purpose and you have that conviction inside of you, then you can be able to, you know, display that purpose. You can be able to use the purpose to the glory of God and to the glory of your creator to the extent that other people can then see what you're doing. Okay, for example... For, for example, I've been posting videos online like for a while now, like for two years, and I just got a, a, TV, a TV gig this year in 2020. This year in 2020, I got different publishers to publish my book, my books, like, right? This year in 2020, I got a radio show in Scotland, right? I am in one position. They are coming to me. Why? First, they have to see, you know, the Bible says something that, that, um, 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 that when you... Arise and shine for light is come and glory of God is risen upon you. And there's a part of scripture that says that kings shall come to thy light and princes to the brightness of thy rising. So as you started to shine, you will attract people. People will come to your light. But yeah. as you keep shining and you keep maintaining that light, that is when kings will come. So people are observing. People are watching your purpose. The funny thing is they may never support you. But people are watching. Are you consistent with what you're doing? Mm -hmm. Are you consistent with that path? Because that's the problem with a lot of young people and a lot of people. A lot of people, they, they do this today, it doesn't work. They do this tomorrow, it doesn't it work. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. Again. Yeah. Yeah. Like everybody's running from one place to another. Yeah. But what do they know you for? What do people know you for? For example, when you think of Emmanuel Akaiso, like everybody just, oh, Emmanuel Akaiso speaks, Emmanuel Akaiso writes, that is me. Like that. So what, what, what is that thing they know you for that? you are staying in, that you connect with. And as you keep doing that thing, other people will connect with you, right? So for you, it could be music and your own page could be on Facebook. Stick to it. For you, your own could be um, to make meat pie. Like I, I heard of a woman who, who, who started making moi moi. In fact, I, I wrote about her on, on Instagram. She started making moi moi and Michelle Obama has tasted the moi moi, Nigerian bean cake. She stayed, it's, it's, it's on my page if you go search for it on, on Instagram. She stayed there. She was selling bean cake. That, that's it for her. Interesting. So, yeah. So, you know, once you start, stick to it. <laughs> it will become clearer, trust me. I want to ask now a question that um, your purpose and your passion, is it like the same thing? Or like, are they just okay. different? Okay, now, um, the, the, the very funny truth is, see, purpose passion gifts talent everything has been like people you know different people just define different things and and all of that you know i define purpose as this p-u-r-p-o-s-e p for your personality u for your unique abilities r for your reasoning p for potential o for outstanding arts s for spirituality and e for experiences all of That's these nice. things. That's nice. <laughs> Thank you so much. All of these things is the way God has intentionally carved it that you would know it is this. There's one thing, and the funny thing is most times it links together everything you can do. If you check it, a lot of times there's just something. If you sit down critically, there's something that links everything together. Yeah. Something links your passion with your gifts, with your talents, everything. That's that's just the funny truth. You know, it, no matter how they look different, there's just there's just a bridge that if we look that's at it, it will link. Yeah. Yes, that it, it will link your passion to your talents, to your gifts. No matter how obscene or or how different they may look like, it just links them together. How do people? <laughs> Um, know that this is their purpose, you understand? Is it only if the fulfillment part of it for like so how to okay. So, like, like the funny thing was, like, I've already answered a little bit of that, but I'm just going to you know go on. How do you know you're working in your purpose? God is going to make all the provisions you need, and the funny thing is, every step I don't know why I'm saying this, but for people that, that watch this, every step God is very intentional. God will stylishly package it to the extent that every process you are going through now is needed for a place in the future.
Mm-hmm. So everything you're going through now is needed for a place in the future. Now, I've, you know, I've said a lot of that. You, you are, you are authentic. You are, you are authentic. You, so yes. everybody, you are original. God wants you to create something, and people will not be able to predict you. That's the funny thing. People will not be able to predict you. You're original, and at the end of the day, you are helping people directly or indirectly. You are solving a problem. You are, you know, even if maybe you are just making money, making money, making money. That's when people now want to give back to the society, start yeah. a foundation. Like I, be, I believe so much. I'm going to start a foundation in 2021. I believe so much for that. You know, you now start looking at other things. You, you impact the world by creating solutions to help people. That's one thing you do. You know, with the fact that you're fulfilling purpose, you, you, you help other people. And see, you, you just have this inner satisfaction. You have this inner satisfaction, like anything is possible. Like you are unstoppable. You can do this. You can do that. There's just that fuel there. And the funny truth is this. When everything around you seems not to make you happy, there is this source of inner joy that knows yeah, it's something. giving me it's strength. Yeah. I'm doing something. Because there are some times that, like, I, I don't know if we're going to get to that point, but, but let me just chip this in. There's sometimes that your purpose has not started giving you money. Is there any question like that yet? Yeah, it's not because you want to just make money nowadays. So there's there's sometimes that your purpose is not giving you money yet, and you are discouraged, mm-hmm. and um, it's like oh you have bills to pay and everything. See, bros, and see, go and enter the labor market, go and enter the streets. Go <laughs> but also now this is this is this is what I do. This, this is what I've done, and you know, it's just an advice. I'm not saying people should compulsively do it, though, but it's an advice. Yeah. Now, I have a purpose that I'm doing. Right now, I'm, I've not yet blown, blown that people can pay, you know, millions of dollars for me yet. Mm-hmm. But I'm going, I'm getting to that place. So what am I doing? I have a job. I have an investment. I have businesses that is giving me money. At the end of the day, that money I'm getting, I can now say, okay, I want to do free ebooks. Like all my book stuff is for free because I have money somewhere that's paying my bills and I'm not suffering. You understand? Till the purpose now brings in lots of money. So for, for a start, you need to pump. You need to believe in that thing. You need to build it to a stage where by the time it now brings you so much money, if, yeah. so you have to start from somewhere and fund your purpose, you know, till it becomes a good source of income that can give you a lot of money. Yeah, I like the point. Okay, so how long, how long do you think it takes people to discover their purpose? Do you think that there's just like a a point saying like, okay, like maybe five years, two years or something like that? Do you think there's a time for you to like discover your purpose? Uh, well, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say there's a time, like a purpose has, a, excuse me, I wouldn't say a purpose has a time. I would prefer to say that it depends on the level where you are in life and the phase where you are in life. Okay, so for 2020, there was something God wanted me to do in 2020. I've done everything. Now, I was, I've been doing personal retreats for 2021. And it is scary. Like, I was telling myself yesterday night, I'm like, God, I'm scared. This is, this is too much for me to do in 2021. Mm-hmm. Now, your purpose depends. I wouldn't say it depends. I think the right word is, as you move from one level to another, your purpose is evolving. Yeah, oh, Evolving. That's the right word. It is involving. Why? You are in your teens. By the time you get to 20 something, it may still be the same foundation, but it will be served in a different way. Why? Because you cannot serve the same thing the same way over and over again. People will see it finish. Mm-hmm. There, there will be no juice, no spice. Okay, that's why the same thing you see. For example, somebody is a musician. All of a sudden, the person is now writing songs. Before you know, that person has a record label. <laughs> and the person is already acting, and the person you, you understand, but it's still that same person. The yeah. the person is using the confidence, the skill, the boldness. It's still the container, but the container is exploring the different contents inside of it. It's still you. So, for example, okay, I don't want to say some things I'll be doing in 20, um, 2021, but for example, you guys may see another side of this, another side of that. It's still you. God is exposing you to you. That's the thing. God is exposing more of you I to like you. That's that. why it's something. Like yeah. That. Yeah. God is exposing you to you. Okay, so I just want to talk about like two things. Number one, somebody's saying, can I have more than one? You know, yeah, okay, purpose. Yeah. Can I have more than one purpose and all of that. Okay, so what I would say is, First off, you have to pick one purpose or one gift that will be the foundation. So you can have a foundation, pick one and link other things. Now, another one is this. Some people can sing, dance, draw, act. 
one of your gifts will link other gifts together. There's no how. There will be that bridge that will connect everything together. There's a bridge that will connect everything together. And another one I want to say is, you cannot do everything at once. It's not possible. Yeah. Pick one. Finish that one first. Then you build a game on it. Finish that. Then you build on it. Finish it. You build on it. Then it keeps going and going and going. But if you try to just build everything, you know, real fast and, and you are not building it properly, at the end of the day, it's going to fall it and it's yeah. going to fail. Yeah. yeah, it's going to fall it's going to fail. So what do you do if you are not finding fulfillment? Because people are like, you said we should find fulfillment. What do I do if I'm not finding fulfillment in purpose? The first thing I would like to say is you need to look inward and celebrate yourself. That's the problem with a lot of people. We don't know how to celebrate ourselves. It's not easy because everybody just wants to move to the next step. You're seeing people. You're seeing people. Ah. I get it. I get it. But I'm just telling you that it's not as easy as it is. But see, there are sometimes that personally, I'm the only one in my space and I want to feel discouraged. I just stand up. I just look at, go to go through my Instagram, look at the amount of, of um, um, books published this year, look at people's reviews. I'm like, Imana, I'm proud of you. Learn to sell. Imana, I'm proud of your growth. Imana, I'm proud of your success stories. Imana, I'm proud of where you started from and where God is taking you to. Even though you don't know how you will get there, even though you don't know how it's going to be like, but God has started a journey mm-hmm. and going to fulfill that journey, right? So that's the place of appreciating and celebrating yourself. Another one that is very key in this generation is contentment. Contentment. Young people, contentment. Somebody did slow motion video and blow. You may not blow like that. Somebody went to Big Brother. I'm not against them, but your own destiny may not be Big Brother. Your destiny may be to sell bottled water in a way that people have never heard it before. Mm -hmm. And you make your money from there. Yeah. So don't compare don't yourself to people. other people. Yeah, don't copy people. Exactly. Don't on your own lane. Don't say because exactly. everybody is going a, a direction. I own is B. You just want to follow the crowd and just go mm-hmm. to like the B direction. You will still find yourself coming back and you have lost like years. You have lost like so, years. But ma'am, like that's that's very important. So that point of um trying to um compare yourself to other people and all of that, it's a waste of time. Well, Every process just builds you up for where you are going to. That's yeah. important. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming. I really appreciate it. I learned a lot. And I'm very sure that I'm going to learn a lot from this thing because it's a lot. It's a lot. Finding your purpose is something that um, people want to like get to know what they want to do in life so that they can just continue to walk in that path. It's not of them doing left, right, center, and looking, waiting for miracles to happen in the set. So, um, yeah, thank you so much for sharing. And people should just, I want people to check the description box for the uh, ebook. I'm going to leave, leave the link there. And yeah, hopefully, you're going to do more things in 2021. And- Amen. I receive. Please, my name is Emmanuel Akai. So, call me, ask me questions. You can find me everywhere. Your details there. Don't worry. Your, your number, your email, your Instagram, and everything like that. So, people can just call you. So, that, yeah, it's life so much as you have said. It's a mentor, it's a digital program, yeah. it's TV shows, and stuff like that. So, if you have any yeah. They said it because I'm very sure nobody is going to like this one because you will mm-hmm. learn the best of it. And I'm very sure people will learn from your book also and other books that are going to come out. Yeah, so thank Amen. You. I receive. <laughs> thank you so much. Me. I really appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. You're welcome. You're yeah. welcome. Thank, thank you so much. Video, yeah. Please give it a thumbs up. Share with your friends. Subscribe to my Yeah, channel. and please subscribe to this channel. Everybody subscribe to this channel. Like, comment, give the thumbs up, and share this link to everybody. Yeah, everybody needs you. to be blessed by this. Yeah. <laughs> thank you very much. Bye-bye. You're welcome.